subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So today I received my new iPhone in the mail. I got the iPhone 12 Pro Max and I'm upgrading from the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I figured I would record this video to show the process for me switching phones and to record some of the questions that I always ask whenever I'm upgrading a phone. So first off, let me say that I have my phone service through AT&T and I get my iPhones through the Apple Store. I am a part of the iPhone upgrade program. It is a program where you can upgrade your phone every year. Um, I will say the catch is you have to have at least 12 months paid out of the 24 months. Another thing to note is that since you do have to pay those 12 months, you can upgrade early, but you'll have to pay the rest of the months that you have left. So like, I think I had one more month because last year when I upgraded, I thought I was a part of this program, but I was in the other Apple program. So they went ahead and switched me over and I assume it was in December because I still had one more payment to pay. So I went ahead and paid that. And on the AT&T side, you have to pay an activation fee. So those are just some good tips for knowing what to pay when you upgrade your phone. Because it is not free. Although I think it's a good deal because I like to upgrade my phone every year. So even though I don't completely own it, I still have the newest phone. So the thing about me is I like to keep the boxes of any um, expensive electronics that I buy. And so I still have my box from last year. This is the box right here. And this one is this big. And then I also have, of course, the box I got today. This is what they look like. And as you can see, this one's a little bit bigger than this one because the iPhone 12s do not come with the adapter to the wall and they don't come with the headphones like the 11 Pro Max did. So I thought this would be good to show the differences between the two iPhones. They have the Pacific Blue, the Gold, which is what I got, the Graphite, and the Silver Color. And for the iPhone 11, there's Midnight Green, Silver, Space Gray, and gold, which is what I have. And this phone is, the new phone, is just a tiny bit bigger. And one of the biggest differences is that it has 5G. Here's more things that are different. And this is another big thing, the MagSafe. It should work with wireless chargers. So I'm going to go ahead and switch my phone over and I will take you all through that process with me. So you go into your iCloud settings and you'll get your last backup, which mine was yesterday, 8 a.m. And I'm going to go ahead and back it up now because I don't know what I have new on my phone, basically. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. So it's finally done backing up. That took about like 10 minutes, so a little bit longer than I thought, but it's okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the new phone. While that's turning on, I'm going to show y'all the difference right here between the two. So as you can see, they're lined up. This one's a little bit bigger, and it is boxier. This one is more rounded, so this is more like the iPhone 4s, I believe. I put in my password, and now it's setting it up. And there's Poppy. It may take a few minutes to activate your phone. So basically, I just finished doing the um, facial recognition, and now it's giving me these two options. So I actually clicked that bottom one and now I'm going to restore from iCloud backup. And there's the last time that I did it, which was just a while ago. So 
So my phone finally finished backing up from my old phone and that took about 30 minutes. So I'm finally set up on this phone and I'm so excited. I forgot to almost add that you need to make sure that on your old phone you erase everything from it. So whenever you return this, which is part of the iPhone upgrade program, they don't see all your stuff. So I'm just going to do that right now. So I went to reset and I'm just going to press erase now since I've already backed it up. I hope this video helps for anybody who's thinking about getting the new phone and just some um, inside information about the iPhone upgrade program. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.